We're born with a mindset that we hate insects, and wherever we see them, we want to kill them. It is true that some insects around the world are extremely bad and can cause harm. It is good to know about all insects, especially the common ones around us. But today, we're gonna look at 10 insects that if they're not with us anymore, people can't stay around anymore either. There are a lot of useful and good insects, but today, we're gonna look at 10 of them. You should know this little guy. It is called the praying mantis. You could find this thing in the garden and it looks like a leaf. People think that these are harmful to trees and plants, but that's where you're completely wrong. If this thing is on any plant, it is basically the security guard. Any pest that gets close to the plant, this thing will eat that. It also looks like a leaf so the pest cannot see it and get close to it. So anywhere you see a praying mantis, don't bother it or kill it. Number two, honeybee. You guys probably know that a honeybee is an extremely useful insect and you could kind of call it the most important insect around the world because if there are no bees, everybody dies of starvation. Bees do the most important thing in the wild, meaning they sit on the flower, pick up the pollen, and go sit on another plant. And this continues the growth of life. If this doesn't exist, a lot of plants won't exist. The bee sits on the plant, starts eating, and while it's eating, it's picking up the pollen. Then it goes on another flower to start eating again and basically drops the pollen from the other flower to the new flower. It might not know how important it is for this thing to do its job, but either way, whatever it's doing, it's extremely important. You should know this one as well, one of the most important insects in the wild, ladybug. A ladybug, kind of like a praying mantis, is a security guard. Meaning, if any pest comes on the plant, the ladybug will protect it and eat it. It's basically waiting for pests to come on the plant to eat. Ladybug is a beautiful insect, but it's not the most beautiful. The most beautiful insect is number five, butterfly. Beauty in butterflies are not limited. There's all types of shapes and designs and colors. A butterfly is basically like a honeybee, so it's a pollinator. But butterfly likes fruit trees more than plants. Anywhere you see butterflies in a fruit tree, you'll know that that tree is healthy. So if you go in a garden and see a beautiful butterfly, do not bother it, don't capture it, and let it just live its life. The next useful insect on the list is the laced wing. This insect for hot areas is extremely useful because its main food source are these guys, something called white fly, which is basically a fly that can be found in hot areas. Just like a regular fly, white fly can run extremely fast and maneuver fast. And that is why Lake Wings is an extremely fast insect and can capture it. Number six, Dragonfly. Some say that they designed a helicopter off this insect, but nobody knows if that's true or not. We're not sure what number to put this on the list about how important it is, but let's say it's one of the most important insects in the world. It will eat mosquitoes, it will eat flies, and it will eat moths like there's no tomorrow. Dragonflies are an insect that have no problem. Like a honeybee can actually sting you, but this doesn't even have that. It's not bad for plants, not bad for animals, and not bad for humans. 
The environment is a lot better with these guys around. Number seven, earthworm. Any dirt that has this worm in it, you'll know that it's filled with nutrients. This helps the dirt get more nutrients and that helps the plant grow better. Number eight, bumblebee. This might look a little scary, but it's just a fat, hairy bee, and it stings people a lot less than a honeybee. This bee is also a pollinator, but more fruit trees. Pretty much like a butterfly, which hangs around fruit trees. Number nine, spider. There are thousands of spiders around the world. There are some that will kill a human with one sting. But most of them are very useful for the environment. Out of all the spiders, they're very rare to find dangerous ones. And you can't find them anywhere. They're usually really far from human civilization, like in a desert in Australia. But harmless insects will kill flies, kill mosquitoes, and there is an ant that is really bad for the environment, called the carpenter ant. The only rival to this ant is a spider. Meaning, if you eradicate the spider population, you'll be faced with these guys. A lot of people are scared of spiders, but they should know that more than 90% of the spiders around the world don't have any harm. They're just scary looking. Number 10, an Olympic gold medalist. The strongest men on earth, how many times their weight can they push? This insect can push up to 250 times its own weight. This thing is called the dung beetle. This is an extremely useful insect. When you go in a jungle where animals live, you don't see any feces laying around. Do you know why? Because this thing collected all of it. This thing's job is when an animal goes to the bathroom, it goes and picks up the feces. It turns it into a ball so it can roll it around. They use the ball to lay eggs. They usually work as a couple. One of them goes finds the feces and rolls it up and brings it. The other one digs a tunnel so they can take the ball down there and lay eggs. They say when an elephant goes to the bathroom is a huge load. Like for example, when a huge animal like an elephant goes to the bathroom in the jungle, if it stays around, it could cause diseases. But after the bathroom session, dung beetles come out of their hole. In less than 15 minutes, 4,000 of them line up to come and collect the feces on the ground. And they turn it into a ball and push it away. There's no better way than this. They say humans invented the wheel, but these guys have been around way longer than us. They've been on Earth for more than 130 million years. They probably collected dinosaur feces. If you've seen our video about cockroaches, you'll know that they've been around for more than 350 million years. A dung beetle is pretty much a cockroach as well. But a cockroach is really bad for the environment. A dung beetle is really good for the environment. It's really a lot. It can push up to 250 times its own weight. Meaning, if a human weighs 100 kilograms, it has to push 25 tons. You can't really put a difference between these insects because they're useful in their own way. But as you guys know, I'm addicted to you guys' comments. So please leave us a comment and let us know which one of these are most useful.